That'll be good as new. I actually went back to work after I had that wreck probably, I don't know, I think it was like, took off a week or two. They had me on light duty. I, I run a uh, soda route. Uh, we don't call it soda down here, but coke route is what it is. And uh, I'm a spider crawling on my helmet. But if you've ever rode in a big truck or drove one, they don't ride well. So you try to ride one with some broke ribs with a rookie driver that don't know how to drive a manual to a seven speed. And it's very painful. I couldn't shift. I couldn't drive or shift because that was the side that <clears throat> my right collarbone's the one I broke. So he had to drive and it was a nightmare. I should have stayed out of stayed out of work longer, I'll tell you that. I eventually got to where I couldn't take it no more and I just had to carefully shift the gears and drive myself. It was dangerous and uh, I don't know if that boy ever caught on to driving a man. He was a good kid. It's hard to go from a young man that's only drove automatics and drive a a big truck. It was a straight truck, so he didn't have to worry about the trailer, watching the trailer and all that. But uh just difficult for him. Red trails or something else. Oh, missed my brake pedal. I ride my KLR back and forth to work, and I got a pair of boots that I use for that. Then I get on these MX boots, and uh, it's just a different feel with the foot pegs and uh, brake lever and everything, really. So. Sometimes I'll miss the brake lever. Oh. 